Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the latest Brew Chats with Charlie. Sorry I haven't been around for the last few months. I just had a few things to figure out, a few things in my life happening, and uh, I'm, re I'm back. I'm here to give some more beer reviews. Um, definitely missed doing this and I've missed you guys. Um, the brewery that I'm covering today um, is a brewery in West Kendall. Um, it's called Spanish Murray Brewery. Uh, this brewery um, is honestly one of my favorites. I've My dad and I have been going there since a month after it opened and we met the brewmaster Jaime and he was really great to just introducing us to really innovative beers. Uh, first couple of beers that we tried were actually two blonde ales that were infused with guava and infused with melon um, and honestly I fell in love with it. Um, something that Spanish Marie is really good at making is dessert themed beers. So the beer for example, the beer that I got for you today is a cherry pie filling sour. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, it looks really good. I love the artwork on the can as well. Um, it's pretty sweet. Jaime also kind of talked about Spanish Marie and like why Spanish Marie? So um, long story short, Spanish Marie was actually a bootlegger in Miami during Prohibition era. So she would actually smuggle rum from Miami to uh, Coconut Grove in uh, Cuba. And it was really, really cool. Um, she was never found. So there's, you know, there's a whole mystery to it. And this brewery is a Prohibition era craft brewery, um, which is pretty cool. They have two venues, one of them is Speakeasy that they rent out for parties, and then they also have a bigger tap room that they call a secret beer garden. Um, pretty great place. They are doing all kinds of interesting sours. They have this cotton candy series where they have a blue ra a blue raspberry sour, a uh, blue raspberry cotton candy uh, sour beer, which is literally blue. Um, it's pretty awesome. But anyway, let's get cracking. So this is a cherry pie filling sour. Um, this sour ale is at 5.5%. And let's kind of see what it looks like here. So right out of the gate, it is an absolutely red, red beet red color. Definitely looks like mama's cherry pies cooking at Thanksgiving. Um, it gets darker as you go. Um, the head retention on it is quite good as well. As you can see, the carbonation is very nice as well. Um, this was probably, doesn't really say the age of it on the can but judging by the carbonation, um, this has probably been done in the last couple of months, which is definitely what you want um, in a beer. Cheers. Okay, so the, the aroma is definitely cherry. I don't really get much else. Um, it's just really, really pungent cherry, but let's see what it tastes like. Okay, so even before I smell the cherry, I can actually taste a lot of cinnamon in here as well. Um, it literally, what can I say? It literally tastes like a cherry pie filling in a beer. Um, I definitely feel like my grandma made this, to be honest. <laughs> it's, uh, it is quite nice, um, quite refreshing. It is something that I definitely can't have all the time. Um, this is definitely something that I would enjoy at the end of the day, um, definitely after a heavy meal. So definitely after turkey, or anything like that, um, I would definitely try and recommend it. Um, definitely Thanksgiving-y for sure, um, but it's really nice, um, quite, quite nice. Definitely a strong cherry flavor, definitely the cinnamon. It's really what adds a nice, um, what adds a nice flavor to this. Um, definitely check out Spanish Marie Brewery. Um, so not just a cherry pie filling sour, but they also, um, like I mentioned, do a cotton candy series. And on top of it all, um, they're really not afraid to get creative. If you're into dessert beers, into in, if you're into beers that are really sweet, if you're into sours, definitely check these guys out. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning into Brew Chats with Charlie. Have a great day. Cheers.